what role does Asia have to play in pulling the rest of the world back from the brink of a double dip? Well, we sat down with the Columbia University professor for his views. Asia has done remarkably well. China had one of the best stimulus programs, uh, and it worked. Uh, the question, I think, being asked is the following. Uh, there are heavy level of spending built in the gap, uh, but if Europe and America are weak, uh, it is likely that export markets for many of the Asian countries, including China, may remain weak. Uh, if China is to continue to have robust growth, uh, it will have to find other bases for its growth. Uh, it has been in the process of redirecting its economy, moving away from its export dependence, uh, but that process has been remarkably slow. Savings rates have remained uh, around 50 percent. Uh, and uh, so the challenge, not in the next six months, but the challenge over the next five years, will be whether they will be able to restructure their economy uh, in ways that will be able to sustain growth. I think they will, but it is a major challenge. Yeah, in the short term, I mean, you're talking about robust growth there. What are the dangers of a, a, a hard landing? I mean, nothing does grow in a straight line after all. Well. Uh, so far, they've managed things well. Uh, they were having a, a, a real estate bubble, not an uncommon thing around the world. They've taken some actions to try to deflate it uh, with some success. So uh, I'm, I'm not so worried about a hard landing. What we've already seen is a slowdown in their economy, uh, consistent with a, a much uh, softer uh, 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 approach to economic policy. Uh, after all, I also am confident that they can maintain high rates of growth, uh, not the 12 and 13 percent like, that they had for a while, but uh, it is important if they're going to continue to move people out of poverty that they continue the kind of real growth of 7, 8, 9, 10 percent that has marked the last uh, 30 years. Very quickly on the currency that the UN allowing some appreciation, albeit it's really managed at the moment. Are they right to do that? Uh, I think they're right to manage their exchange rate. The world has been marked by a high level of volatility. We've seen the kinds of problems that have confronted other parts of the world with this high degree of volatility. Uh, the, uh, and, and they're perfectly right that financial markets have irrational optimism and pessimism that you cannot rely on markets to set stable prices. So government intervention to try to stabilize the exchange rate does make sense uh, to me. Um, it is probably important over uh, intermediate run that there probably be an adjustment in the exchange rate. Uh, the uh, difficult to t determine what is the correct equilibrium exchange rate. Uh, particularly in a country undergoing lots of changes in policy. Uh, there are other policies, restrictions on capital outflows, interest rate policies, tax policies that also affect uh, the exchange rate. But uh, I think it probably does make sense uh, for them to allow some appreciation of their currency.